Welcome to Habarovsk. What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm in a new city, Khabarovsk. Khabarovsk is the capital of Khabarovsk Krai and is only 30 kilometers from the Chinese border with Russia. This city has over 600,000 people and is the 26th biggest city in the country and the biggest city in the far east of Russia. Khabarovsk is a distinctly international city with an international feel. One reason for that is the fact that this city gets over 1 million visitors from Asia every single year due to its proximity with China and how close it is to Korea and Japan. Those people, those Asians come here to Habarovsk to get a feeling of Europe a lot closer to home than actually flying to Europe. What's more is during the Soviet Union this city was completely open to foreigners Unlike the other Far East big city, Vladivostok, which was closed, that's despite this city having a huge military importance. But because of that, this city has grown and grown internationally and is a great place for people from both Asia and Europe to come visit. In more modern times, Habarovsk has been noted for being a very great place to live for Russian people and has won most comfortable city in Russia for multiple years in a row. We start today as we do in so many Russian cities in Lenin Square. Lenin Square is the main square here in this city and is the home of the government building. This square is pretty big and is famous for its fountains which of course only work in the summer and its beautiful flowers. However I have to say I am disappointed by one thing, the statue of Lenin is really really small. I'm now in a different square here in Khabarovsk, Ploshed Slavy, the square of glory. This square was built to commemorate all those from this area who died during World War II fighting for the Soviet Union. It has an eternal flame and a huge wall listing the names of all the people from this area who died. In 2004, on this square, they also built a cathedral, the Cathedral of Transfiguration. Let's go take a look at that now. Christianity is alive and well here in the far east of Russia as can be seen by this brand new church, the Cathedral of Transfiguration. Built in 2004 with a beautiful view over the Amur River, this is the third tallest church in the whole of Russia at 83 meters high. Here is this, the statue to Muraviev Amursky. He was a Russian diplomat. 
general and statesman who played a huge role in the expansion of Russia from the west to the Amur River Basin and the Sea of Japan. In 1891, this city honoured him with a statue. In 1923, it was replaced by a statue of Lenin, but following the fall of the Soviet Union, the original statue was put back in its place. Down here by the Amur River is a very beautiful park, the River Promenade. This place is very green and it's full with young people, old people, single people and families. It's a very beautiful place to walk with a massively varied demographic. One thing you might not expect here though is they actually have a beach, a city beach with actual sand. When you're lying on that beach, you might not realize you're over 300 kilometers away from the nearest coast, but you can even, if you fancy, go for a dip. I'm now in Dinamo Park, only a stone's throw from the centre of the city. In fact, the Lenin statue is just a two minute walk that way. It's a pretty big park, over 30 hectares and seems relatively well maintained. Today seems very popular with families. You see there are rides over here for kids and overall this seems quite well maintained. The nicest bit of the park for me though is a little bit further down that way there are a bunch of ponds which look pretty nice for cooling down on a warm summer's day. And here at the other side of the Namo Park are those three ponds. Here is one behind me and there are two more. All three of them have different themes, different ideas, and this is the biggest one. At nighttime when darkness comes, the lights are switched on and it looks very beautiful. And on holidays, there are light shows. This here is the middle pond of the three. It is the deepest and is used for boating, as you can see someone on a boat right behind me here. But it's most famous for this, the Bridge of Love, where newlyweds like to have photos together. Behind me here is the Habarovsk Regional Museum, which gives a history of this city from its founding all the way to the end of the Soviet era. It's an excellent museum in a beautiful building from 1894, which shows the architectural style in Russia at that time. This behind me here is Dormition Cathedral, built in 2002. It's one of the largest churches in the Far East and was designed by a local architect from this area. It's got five different domes and is over 60 meters high. for getting to the end of this video here in Habarovsk. I'm filming now in Moscow. I am back home editing my videos from my trip. 
and I think you will really like this one. If you did, give me a like, and if you're from Habarovsk, I'd really appreciate any comments. What do you think of my opinion of your city? And if you want to see more videos from all around Russia and also in Moscow about my life here, give me a subscription. That would be really great. So thank you very much and goodbye.